Let's head back to the Greater Accra region and tidal waves have destroyed over a hundred houses at Chiabu and Debese in the Ablekuma West municipality. Devastated residents who fled the scene Saturday dawn have been counting their losses. Joseph Armstrong was at the community and has filed this report. Many more houses had collapsed along the coast of Shabu and Bebeise. The rough waves swept through several homes dotted along the shore, leaving behind a devastated community. Residents contend the Saturday dawn tidal waves were more violent than previous years. Many homes have been destroyed. Residents say they foresee more destruction in the coming days if nothing is done about the situation. Well, defense, uh, I'm a, I'm a whole defense here, no? They have to extend the sea defense to this place. If not, by Christmas, the sea will consume all of us. The sea has destroyed all our homes. We are suffering. The government must really be quick in coming to our aid. We've lost everything. Furniture cooking utensils and other properties have all been abandoned while some homes are still left hanging. Not far from Shabu is Glyphi that once suffered similar destruction. Fortunately, a sea defense has been constructed for them. George Sarah Bray is the municipal chief executive of Ablukma West. He promised to extend the sea defense to the affected areas. Joseph Armstrong, TV3 News, Shabu. There's more of that story as well in the subsequent bulletins. Let's focus on health and health workers at the CHIPS facility at Asaman Kakraba in the Takwansia municipality of the Western region continue to run a shift system with the community's information center. Sunny Nibley will report nothing has been done about the situation after TV3 mission reported on it in February this year. Isaman Kakraba is one of the fastest developing communities in the Takwanswai municipality. It has increased population, but social amenities are inadequate. Access to health care, one of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, is not easy. The community's information center also hosts the CHIPS compound. The facility, which is overstretched, has only primary health needs being catered for by staff. As a result, not all drugs can be administered. Provision of health care and the running of the information center are done on shift basis. This has been the practice for three years. The drug peddlers are not ready to stop using the information center to market their wares, and this is affecting the operational hours of the chips compound. In February this year, TV3 Mission reported on the situation, but the district authorities say funds to decouple the chips compound from the information center has been a challenge. The community, which depends on proceeds from the information center, could not help the situation. Isaman Kakraba is not within the catchment areas of the gold mining firms, so the community depends solely on the assembly for their development. Municipal Health Director for Takwa in Swaim, Emmanuel Afel Kum, is confident the assembly would intervene. The future of the health sector is bright in as much as we are showcasing the gaps in service demand in the area of health infrastructure and the area of bridging the gap in geographical access to service delivery and so we expect that stakeholders within and outside to see the need for us to improve on the infrastructure need of Takwan Swaim Health Sector. Municipal Chief Executive for Takwan Swaim, Gilbert Kenneth Asma, is hopeful the assembly will impact the people. The assembly will have to, you know, um, do a lot of projects there because they don't fall within the catchment areas of the mining companies, so they cannot go and, you know, do projects there. In spite of the challenges, health personnel are doing their best to save lives 
but stakeholders would be required to do more to address the issues confronting the health sector.